Hi, my name is Peter Daly, Assistant Principal here at Lower Cape May Regional High School. Okay, welcome to this year's very different, but still very special People's Choice Awards. This is one of my favorite evenings uh, of the year. Um, and as soon as Mr. Ziemba asked, how many of these special evenings can we try to pull off for the end of the year? I jumped at the chance to do this. Uh, and with working with Mrs. Bispols, uh, Mrs. Bronson, and the Spotlight Committee, uh, we are proud to present this to you. Kudos to all the faculty who definitely stepped out of their comfort zone with making these videos and submitting them via Google Classrooms to us uh, to organize this. Um, it is something that they are definitely not used to doing, um, but it meant enough to them to want to do it for the students that go here at Lower Cape May Regional High School. One of the things that makes this night so special is that we as faculty get to acknowledge students who have meant something to us, who have affected us in some way um, because we always hear about teachers who have affected students and, and their effect on their students, and, and we hear about it every day. Um, but not as much do we hear about how much students affect us as educators, as an assistant principal, as teachers, as a lot, as, as even as secretaries, and everybody uh, in our school community. The students that go here affect us just as much as we affect them. And this is our chance to go acknowledge some students um, that really struck a chord with all of us. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our freshman class nominees. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Brown and I teach freshman physical science. My People's Choice nominee is a pure joy to teach. Her intellect is beyond compare. Her willingness to help others is unparalleled. Case in point, I relied on her a lot during this closure to text other students in the class to provide them encouragement and support. She is also an amazing homemade science meme constructor, and my nominee also shares my love of escape rooms and puzzles. Thus, I'd like to end by describing my nominee in the form of a nerdy science puzzle that I know she will appreciate. Here goes. Dysprosium, nitrogen, americium, iodine, carbon, fluorine, uranium, nitrogen, boron, radium, iodine, nitrogen, yttrium. That pretty much sums her up. My People's Choice nominee is the incredible Liana Wallace. Congratulations. Ms. Kimsey here, head coach of cheerleading and instructional aid. My nominee this year is a freshman football cheerleader. I was so impressed with not only her athleticism and coachability, but also her impeccable attendance, hard work, persistent determination, and grace in the face of adversity. During our last game, our Thanksgiving game, she learned at the last minute that a loved one was in the hospital and she chose to cheer during that game. And I was in awe of her composure and positive attitude. She would also, at every practice, make every minute count by practicing everything she could to improve herself as an athlete. I'm not only honored, but proud to announce my People's Choice Award is Miss Brianna Vesper. I think I did it. Hey, LCMR. My name is Peg Kroger, and I'm a teacher here at the high school. I am so honored to be here to announce who my People's Choice nominee is, because the day I met him back in September, I knew he was going to be one of my favorites. He is one of the most friendly students I've ever met, saying hello to everybody as he walks into the room and stopping to say hi on the days that I don't have him. He is caring. He's friendly. He's compassionate. And along with that, he's one of the most hardworking students. He has had straight A's all school year, and even now with the online schooling, he still does because he's working that hard at home on his own. Okay, for all of these reasons and for so many more, my People's Choice nominee is Gavin Coughlin. Hello, everyone. I'd like to think I'm the biggest Yankee fan at Lower Cape May Regional High School. But no, I've met two individuals who are bigger Yankee fans than me. They know about the team's roster, the team's stats, and the team history. 
These two students stopped me in the halls, sometimes before school, to talk about a potential player trade, talk about the progress of a player, or sometimes about an upcoming game that the Yankees have. These two students always bring a smile to my face. No matter what I, my day is like, talking Yankee baseball is always fun with them. My people's choice selections are senior Sam Lawson and freshman Wesley Wise. Hi, I'm Mark Cardella. I teach math at the high school. Students in high school seem afraid to give the wrong answer to a question in class, even though the wrong answer is sometimes better than the right answer. I can always count on my nominee to offer answers to my questions, right or wrong. So for being willing to offer these answers and help the rest of the class learn the concepts, I nominate you, Logan Morris. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Stinson. I'm a health and phys ed teacher at the high school. I also coach swimming and cheerleading. This year, my People's Choice nominee was a piece of cake. I knew it was going to be her after only knowing her for a week. She's someone who kind of embodies everything I try and teach the kids. She lives a healthy, active, and positive life. Um, our relationship started out as me motivating her, and now she's my inspiration. I feel blessed that this young lady is going to be on my cheer squad for two more years. This is why my People's Choice nominee is Julia Olson. Love you, girl. I chose my nominee for a few reasons. One, she is a very passionate and dedicated student. In fact, she threatened me and Mr. Matthews because her laptop was not getting fixed fast enough and she had a major biology project that she had to complete using her Chromebook. She was not having the time it was taking to get that fixed. Uh, and I'll tell you, I was a little scared. Uh, but at the same time, she's also very caring. Um, in one instance where her little sister from Tuttleman wasn't in, but so were some bigs and there was a little sister by herself. She took the time to sit with her and work with her and they had a great time. But yet she gave up a study period with her biology teacher um, to stay with that young lady. And I was impressed. But not only is she cared about her students, she's cared about her family. I love watching Chloe go absolutely bonkers when her brother's hitting big shots. But at the same time, in agony when he missed one or two. For those reasons, I chose Chloe Lawler as my nominee. Hi, my name is Mrs. McCracken and I'm here to tell you about my people's choice. This young man never ceases to put a smile on my face. He cracks me up. First time I met him, he is coming from a classroom and he looks at me and he says, Oh, you're the lady who's really loud. Well, fast forward two years, I'm his junior English teacher. And he's still questioning me can't stand my raucous teaching style, hates my taste in music, and has me revisiting my deaf leopard days. Not to mention now we're on quarantine, his witty texts on remind several times a week. We all love him. We all know him. Jimmy McAlunan, you are my people's choice. Hello, my name is Ian McCrone, and I like to talk about my people's choice nominee. She always brought just such positive energy and a great attitude every day. And to do that at the end of the day, eighth period to a chemistry class, that's something special. Just always worked her hardest and gave her best effort. And not only that, but really elevated everyone else around her with her positive attitude and just wonderful effort. Sometimes it was just wearing a really clever, funny shirt that would just crack you up. And sometimes it's hanging out after class just to talk about things about pop culture, life in the world. Her involvement in the school and her great attitude she brings to class just makes her a very special person. And wherever she goes on from here, she'll just make that place so much better by her being there. That's why my People's Choice nominee is Kelsey Endicott. Hi, I'm Karen Murnahan. Last year may be one of my favorite years of teaching, and a big part of that is because of my nominee. And even though English class may not have been his favorite class because he's such a history buff, uh, he was definitely one of my favorite students. And I'm lucky that his locker's right across from my room, so every school day I get to see him still. He is a kind individual who is always looking to help others. I am in awe of how his faith sustains him through the most difficult times. 
His sense of patriotism and his love of country are definitely inspirational. And even though he doesn't always have what would be considered the popular opinion or what other people are thinking, he has the courage and the heart to voice what he has to say. And I am so proud of him for doing that and making sure his voice is heard. That is why I am proud to nominate Nicholas Fry. My 2020 People's Choice nominee is a ray of sunshine every morning. He's the first face I see to greet me at my door, and he always goes out of his way to tell me to have a nice day. He offers to help me with anything I need as well as others in the class. He's genuinely a really nice young man who's extremely polite and always has such a great outlook on life and a positive attitude towards school. He goes above and beyond in my class to improve his grade and to help others do so as well. For these reasons, I choose Nicholas Klein as my 2020 People's Choice. Congratulations, Nick. Hello, this is Charles Taylor. The student that I have chosen for my People's Choice Award is a very compassionate and likable young lady. The very first conversation we had was very interesting and entertaining. I could tell she was real compassionate for other people many times putting other people's needs above her own. Most conversations that follow were always positive and uplifting. She has a caring heart and a generous smile. This year I have chosen Leslie Wyckoff as my People Choice winner because of her charisma and charm. Hello, my name is Karen Barr and I am a science teacher at LCMR. To my nominee, understand that life does not always place us on the path we wanted, expected, or hoped for, but that life is made of distractions, learning curves, and choices. The path that you have is your own, and you will advance on that path as you grow and mature. Please know that I will always be here as your teacher, your mentor, and your friend. Call on me whenever you need some truthful, sane advice. Know that I am proud of you for the choices you have made this year and the future path you choose to follow. I wish you the very best. My nominee is Stephen Bantam. Hi, I'm Mr. Belasco and I'm an English teacher at Lower Cape May Regional High School. My People's Choice, I first met her sophomore year. She was staying after school, either for math help or going over a PowerPoint that she was soon to share with her parents. Either way, what struck me then was a great sense of humor and a warm smile. The next thing that impressed me about My People's Choice was her fierceness and her leadership on the field hockey field. Even as an underclassman, she was a natural leader and plays with every ounce of energy, every minute of every game. By her junior and senior year, I was finally able to see her bring that same competitiveness and drive into the classroom. She works hard. She thrives to learn and improve herself. And through all of this time, we've shared many laughs, some tears, even a moment or two of anger. But Reese Bracken, you are 100% in the starting lineup of my all-star team. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mary Rose Bispols, and I'm thrilled to be participating in our 2020 LCMR People's Choice Awards. I met my nominee during her sophomore year at LCMR, and boy, was I blown away. Number one, I couldn't believe I had never met her before. And number two, I was amazed at her vitality, kindness, and beauty, both inside and out. Now, two years later, I cannot imagine my life without her. She thinks of others first and foremost. Even if she's having a rough day, rough time like we all do, she always puts others first. I feel as though we've, as though we've grown together. Somehow, I think she's even more mature than me. There's a term, old soul, that fits my nominee to a T. She gets it. The idea that kindness matters is her mantra as she tells everyone she encounters with di dignity and respect. Her future goal is to enter the medical field. Any patient she encounters will be better off for having known her. I know I certainly am. 
I wish her the best of luck in the future. No, this is not goodbye. This is see you later. As I know, we will be and always are best friends forever. My People's Choice nominee is Olivia Krenzian. Hello everyone, it's Coach Boyle. Hope everyone's safe and well. I know it's been a tough spring season. We've all missed out on a lot of games, practices, everything. Um, and we miss you guys. Um, here tonight for a nomination of a People's Choice Award. Uh, a young man who I respect very much. Someone who shows up every day at practice. He's been a leader for us for many, many, many years. And his future is very, very bright. Um, I can't wait to see where he goes. Uh, my People's Choice Award nomination is Brandon Lambert. Hi, I'm Ann Brack. I'm the head field hockey coach at Lower Cape May Regional. Hi, I'm Joanne McLaughlin, the head lacrosse coach at Lower Cape May Regional and assistant field hockey coach. We are doing this together as our nominees are equally important to both of us. We got to know both of our nominees in eighth grade as they played for the RMT field hockey team. They were standout players and captains of that team. We have watched each of our nominees grow over the past five years in confidence, skill, and leadership. We have seen them endure many hardships, especially in their sophomore year, and have witnessed their growth as people and players, not just because of these hardships, but in spite of them. They have become the women we always knew they could be. They're composed, passionate, brave, thoughtful, inspiring, and well-rounded. Their combined list of field hockey accolades is a mile long. They're too long to list here. It is their growth in leadership, however, that really stands out. Not surprisingly, they were both voted captain this past season. It was the leadership of our captains that made this past field hockey season one of the most successful the school has ever seen. Behind all the excitement and the sirens that escorted us to the parkway for our South Jersey final, there were many, many after school, after practice, and late night discussions in our locker room with our captains. After a tough loss to middle in the beginning of the season, they discussed the plan on how they wanted the rest of the season to unfold. To watch their plan materialize is something we will never forget. Our People's Choice nominees are Eden Brodzikowski and Michaela Huber. Hi, I'm Gina Bronson and I teach TV media and desktop publishing. My first People's Choice, yes I said first, came to me this year. He joined my publications media class and what an amazing kid I got. He is so detail oriented. He takes on every job as if it was truly a job and not just a class assignment. He gets right down to work and he's such a nice person. I cannot wait to see everything that he does in the future. And my people's choice is Paul Asman. Congratulations. Hi, Gina Bronson here again. And for my next people's choice, um, is an amazing person that I had the privilege of working with for four years, from intro all the way up to an intern this year. I knew immediately that I was gonna like her when an assignment that was, what are you gonna be doing in 20 years from now? She wrote on the board, sitting on the beach, having a cocktail while my husband ran my company. Right off the bat, she's my person. She is amazing sassy, snarky, bold, very good fashion sense, and a nice, kind person. My people's choice this year is Ella C2 Ronk. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see where she goes in the future. And I hope she continues to reach out to me even after this year is over. I just kind of... Hello. You're well, running out of time. Oh, Let's okay. Go. All right. I still have another one to do. Bye, my time is up. Hi, Mrs. Bronson here for the last time, and hold on, that's more like it. My final people's choice tonight is so near and dear to my heart. I only had her for three years because she transferred in, so I just gave it away. But she has been an amazing asset to the class. When we transferred over to a new digital switcher, she had already known how to run it. She's our TriCaster master and has been since the day she came in. 
And then when we were starting Skills USA for the first time and we had no idea what we were going to be doing, what it was going to look like, she raised her hand. She's going about last year. So again, amazing, amazing. She is such a hard worker. She is an amazing friend. She is such a strong person. I'm going to miss her so much. She runs that TV studio like it was hers. If there's ever anything that goes wrong, she's calm, she's collected, and she takes care of it. And I am going to miss her so, so much. I can't even right now. Um, my people's choice for this year is Maddie Lynch. Hello, I'm Miss Crisanti, known as Crest to my nominee. This student and I have grown unignorably close since she was accidentally placed in my class last year. This is not the story of a student who discovered their unknown artistic talent, sorry, but this story is much better. This student has become one of the greatest parts of my day. Even now, as we're stuck in quarantine, I can look forward to her messages, jokes, rants, unsolicited video chats, and persistent invites to come hang out. I've seen her drop everything to help others. I've seen her involve herself in activities all over the school and never hesitate to help out with one more talent show or fundraiser. More than that though, I have thoroughly enjoyed her company. It's not very often that someone who doesn't even really enjoy the subject that you teach can carve such a permanent place in your heart, but she has. She is there forever. For all these reasons and for the incredible, funny, caring, and wonderful cousin that she is, my People's Choice nominee is Victoria San Benedetto. Hi everyone, Miss Caruso here from the child study team at the high school. Um, I'm super excited about this year's People's Choice. Um, I actually locked in my nomination the first week of school because he's that special and I didn't want anyone else to take him. So Tyler Stump, you are my People's Choice for 2020. I want you to know how absolutely amazed I am and so proud of you and the journey that you've been on and your academic success and your overall um, being has just been such a wonderful thing to witness and I'm just really really happy that I've gotten to know you and I've gotten to be part of your journey. Um, I'm really going to miss you coming down and stopping and guidance and visiting in my office and just chatting about life. Um, so please keep in touch and please know that every single step of the way I have been your absolute biggest fan. Um, I'm sorry that I can't be there tonight to hug you and give you this award so hopefully my energy can radiate through the screen um, and you know just how proud I am of you. So again, my people's choice for 2020 is Tyler Stump. Hello everybody, this is Billy Damiana, head wrestling coach, assistant football coach, and the greatest librarian you've ever met a.k.a. Conan the Librarian, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of all librarians. And my People's Choice Award winner is none other than the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dylan Donahue. D-Dons, by short. Dylan, I love you, buddy. I'm super proud of what you did and what you've accomplished and what you're going to accomplish in life. When Dylan came into the school, he wasn't sure of the type of person he was gonna be or the type of person that he wanted to be. And through time, he has matured, he has changed his ways, he's changed his life in a positive direction. And I am super proud and I'm happy for you and I'm happy to be the man to nominate you for this award. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nancy DeSantis and I teach peer leaders and psychology. Um, I've had the pleasure of having my nominee in all three classes, different types of classes that I teach, um, and over the course of two years. And I've admired her determination, her intrinsic motivation, and just a pleasant demeanor that she has over the two years that I've known her. Um, she shared with me and others that she saw herself heading in a direction um, that wasn't going to lead her to the best uh, life for herself. And she kind of self-corrected, and I admired her for that. Although life doesn't always serve her, uh, lemonade. She's definitely learned how to cope with and move forward with the uh, lemons that it, she gets tossed. Um, her determination coupled with uh, the sweetest spirit that I think I've seen in a long, long time is why I chose Sophia Milgram um, as my people's choice. Sophia, you are a gift to us all. Congratulations. 
Hi, my name is Joan Dilling. I'm a science teacher at Lower Cape May Regional. I chose my people's choice because I needed a right-hand girl, and boy, did I get her. She helps me in school with clerical work, with blowing up balloons, with cleaning the greenhouse, anything I need, and she always does it with a smile, ready to go with whatever we need. Then COVID hits and we leave the building. And we have all these little birthday parties and other things that we attend. And there's my people's choice person off to the side videotaping everything. This is her own time and she enjoys every minute of it because she is another teacher's intern as well in the building. So more than one person saw what a great kid she is. None other than Lauren Godman. Miss you, love you, bye. Hi, this is Mrs. Egan, and this year for my People's Choice nominee, I'm choosing an incredible senior. Three years ago, I was lucky. Florida got hit by a hurricane, and as a result, I got this amazing student. Um, for two years, she has managed to just absolutely blow my mind with her incredible intellect and the way that she can just see the world. As a matter of fact, for three years now, she has made me so much more aware of what it means to be a world citizen. I could never thank her enough. Well, now I get to follow her as she goes on the most incredible adventure. She's now going to go to college outside of the United States, and I can't wait to hear what happens. So for being an incredible person, for opening up my eyes in ways I never thought possible, this year I nominated Carolina Mayer. Hi, LCMR. I'm Mrs. Godfrey, I teach English and reading at the high school. Um, so this year for my People's Choice nominee, it was pretty clear to me in the beginning of the year um, who I was going to choose. And since we've been home because of the COVID-19 outbreak, it's just become even more clear. Um, I miss all of my students, but whenever we have our Google Meets, when I see this student, I just instantly have a smile. I've had the honor of teaching him for the last three years. and. He has grown so much, I can't even put into words how proud I am of him. He makes me laugh, and he doesn't even realize how funny he can be sometimes. He's inquisitive, and he teaches me a lot. Um, he knows more facts about Disney and does the best Jim Carrey impersonation. And whenever we read, he has the best British accent. Um, he just brightens my day, and I can't wait to be back in school with everyone, especially Z. Craig, my People's Choice nominee. My name is Kirsten Logan and I teach art and design of fashion. If you had told me when I met my nominee that I would be choosing her for People's Choice, I would have called you crazy. My nominee has certainly had difficult times in school, but this year in level three, she has been a pleasure and I am so proud of how far she has come. She is incredibly intelligent and, I, and will help anyone that asks. She is never afraid to voice her opinion and tell you how it is. She stays positive and always greets me and fellow teachers with a smile and hello in the halls. When school was switched to remote learning and a need for fabric masks arose, my nominee got to work, completing 100 plus masks, all while doing her schoolwork. I look forward to seeing where my nominee's journey will continue and know she will do great things. For those reasons and many more, my People's Choice nominee is Layla Francis. Hello, my name is Dana Markovitz and I'm a guidance counselor at Lower Cape May Regional High School. My People's Choice nominee is one of the most caring students I've ever worked with. He has truly been my right hand during all student council activities. No matter what he's going through in his personal life, he always makes time for others. Sometimes I wish he'd take a little more time for himself, but that's just not in his nature. For the last four years, I've gotten the chance to watch him grow and develop as a person, and I can't be prouder of who he's turning out to be. He can achieve anything he puts his mind to, even though he still hasn't made me TikTok famous. Through good times and bad, he has the power to push through to the other side. And that is why my people's choice is Ryan Devine. Hi, this is Dana Markovitz, guidance counselor at Lower Cape May Regional High School. And I'm the principal of Cape May City Elementary. Otherwise known as Mr. Palumbo. The two of us didn't want to fight um, over who to choose for our people's choice, but we were both so proud of her, we decided to share. Yeah, I, we made a promise uh, back 
way back while I was vice pre uh, principal at Lower Cape May Regional that if we ever got to this point where this student would go to be getting her diploma, we'd be nominating her together for this award. We are both so proud of her and the journey she has made in these last couple years at Lower Cape May, and we can't wait to see how she continues on this path of growth. I would like to also acknowledge that she has grown up so tremendously and has made dramatic changes, and I'm very proud, and I'm super uh, happy that Ms. Markovitz allowed me to be a part of this right now, even though it's virtual right now, in a car at 170 degrees in a parking lot. <laughs> So for all those reasons and many more, our people's choice is Sienna Johns. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good evening, this is Mr. Martin from Lower Cape May Regional High School. I teach oceanography, marine biology, and environmental sustainability. Uh, I'm here to present the 2019-2020 People's Choice Award. Um, I just wanna say that, first of all, it had to be a senior because uh, for you seniors, just so you know, you're you're in our hearts. It's been it's been a rough go, so we're here with you. But my my particular choice is a student who uh, is just exudes positivity, and every single morning just brings a smile. And um, in almost 20 years of doing this, I got to tell you, this this student, I've never seen a student come in and just be such a positive influence on others. Really, like positive peer pressure. So. Uh, without delay, uh, I want to present uh, my nominee as Wandelay Hannah. So congratulations, Wandelay. You're quite an inspiration. Thank you so much. My People's Choice is somebody that I met this year. She quickly started to stand out to me because she was somebody that already appreciated her surroundings and the people that she was with. Um, she moved her seat to make sure that she was not distracted um, and defended teachers whenever a student um, didn't appreciate something that they did for them. She um, stepped up her game even more now that the COVID virus has hit. And each time I give an assignment, she's the first one to turn it in, usually one of the best ones to turn it in. And she, I've told her many times, she's wise beyond her years. Her self-motivation is amazing and her ability to read people is pretty, pretty great too. My only wish is that one day she'll realize what an A plus that she is as well. Uh, my people's choice is Marissa Fisher. Bonjour. My name is Joe McKenna and I'm the French teacher here at LCMR. For the past two years, I've had the distinct pleasure of being the student's teacher in Honors for three and four. As a student, she has been incredibly hardworking and conscientious. As a person, she's only shown great kindness, patience, and consideration towards all. She's also demonstrated great leadership skills as president of the LCMR chapter of the French Honor Society. In addition, this year, she was my classroom intern, assisting me with many classroom instructional duties. But beyond praising the student, I also wish to thank her. I wish to thank her for being one of the most level-headed and gracious students that I've ever known. I wish to thank her for being a true leader, always calm, well-organized, and ready to take charge. And most of all, I wish to thank her for all the hard work she accomplished as my intern. No matter what the task, I can always count on her to get the job done and do the job well. I cannot thank her enough for all the support and assistance she has provided me, and I cannot praise her enough for being the wonderful person that she is. For all these reasons, my People's Choice nominee is Carly Bob. Hi, I'm Ms. O'Donnell. I'm a math teacher and the swim coach at the high school. I was lucky enough to meet my nominee on the first day of his freshman year as I was his algebra teacher. Luckily, he decided to also join the swim team that winter, even though it was short-lived. As much as I begged, pleaded, even called his mom, he decided not to come out his sophomore year to focus on tennis. That didn't stop me from trying his junior and senior year, even offering to bring him hot chocolate every day to practice. Thankfully, I still saw him a lot. Whether he was coming in my room just to get a lifesaver, never a purple one dropping off his Chromebook or his phone to be charged, or just stopping in to say hello. I'm sad our time was cut short, and he will not be walking into D1 this coming fall, but I look forward to hearing all the good things he has in store for his future. For these reasons and many, many more, I chose Justin Smith as my People's Choice nominee.
Hi everybody, it's Mr. Pasevich, and I'm here to announce my People's Choice Award winner for 2019-2020. Uh, this individual I have known since a freshman, and um, he has always been just a, um, a ball of energy and somebody I, I liked seeing on a regular basis, whether it was in class or in the hallway. Um, he was always good for a smile or a, a real healthy handshake. Um, this individual and I um, have picked up many spills in the class that they have accidentally made. And I always would look at them and they genuinely didn't mean it. Um, sometimes this individual was taken the wrong way, I believe, while at, at Lower Cape May Regional. I think we all love this guy. And that's why my People's Choice Award winner is Kenny Coloma. I remember hunting for Easter eggs, and uh, this mother walks up to me and says, Hi, I'm so-and-so's uh, mother, and I'd like to just tell you how much fun she's having out for track. Uh, what do you think she's going to be good at? And as a freshman, I remember saying, Daughter's very fast, and she can, um, she can do a lot of things well. And I, I wasn't 100% sure just how good she would get. But she has slowly become one of the uh, best jumpers I've had in the last four years. And just a really dynamite person. I've enjoyed spending time at winter track as well as in spring track with my People's Choice Award winner um, over this pandemic's uh, interim. She has been working out and making videos for the team, and I really appreciate her efforts. My People's Choice Award winner is Haley McEwen. It's rare a teacher or coach gets to spend as much time as I have spent with this individual um, just in post-season workouts. Um, you really get to know somebody well when you are, um, you know, sweating and just absolutely exhausted after a real hard workout. Uh, but the important part is this individual kept coming back. And I think the real big story here for my People's Choice Award winner is she's been a captain, she's been a leader, she's just been fantastic for uh, Lower Cape May sports. Um, I never had a chance to teach her, but I'm sure she was fantastic in the classroom. And um, I would like to say thank you very much for the time she has put in and she has devoted to our school district and to my coaching experience at Lower Cape May Regional. And that's why my People's Choice Award winner this year is Ava Pierce. It was Turkey Trot four years ago. And I know we've missed a couple turkey trots, but this individual really set the stage as a freshman and they were playing caper ball. And I knew there was something special about them then. Just so happened, started to get to interact with this individual in track um, as well as in the classroom. And sure enough, they are a absolute standout and they have proven it. Um, creating a transcript at Lower Cape May that rivals anybody that's ever walked through the hall since the schools started. And that's a really important conversation to have because this individual doesn't come around all the time. And I'm very pleased to have been part of school history while my People's Choice Award winner um, has made it through there and, and created a history of his own. And that individual is Dakota Black. And I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hardworking, talented, intelligent, kind-hearted, and extremely driven are just a few words to describe my 2020 People's Choice nominee. To say she is astonishing, honestly, is an, is an understatement. This year, I've had the opportunity to work with this young lady as one of my SLE interns at two different internships, as well as in school. She's an intern who always has been motivated, worked to her full capacity, and put great effort into achieving her lifelong dreams of becoming an occupational therapist. She was extremely helpful this year in the school store, as well as with my own two children, Bo and Blake at Cape May Dancers. My son and daughter just absolutely adore her. She's a student who I will never forget, and I wish her the very best in all of her future endeavors. I'm a firm believer that my People's Choice nominee, Shay Fletcher, is a true inspiration to all. Keep up the hard work, girl. You will have a great impact on the future. Hello, I'm Senora Satazon. For my people's choice, I nominate Kirsten Keywood. 
I have known Kirsten since her freshman year in high school. She has been the Spanish Honor Society president for two years where she has set a great example as a leader. I had her in Spanish for three years where she persevered and always tried her hardest. Kirsten is amazing. She is smart, funny, and seeing her always brightens my day. Te extrañaré mucho and buena suerte, Kirsten. Hello, my name is Senora Sadazan, and for my People's Choice Award, I nominate Nada Nasser. Nada is a hardworking, honest student who has worked diligently in my class for three years. And this year, I was lucky to have her as an intern in the classroom helping me and my students. I'm so happy to have known Nada throughout her high school years. She has a very bright future ahead of her. Muchas gracias, Nada. Buena suerte. Hi, I'm Jeff Schwartz, instructor of culinary arts. Indomitable spirit, perseverance, strength, fortitude. This young man has been with me for three years and now will be graduating as a senior with the strengths and skills to go out into any field that he decides to enter. This young man has been with me for almost every event that I have asked him to, as well as many other extracurricular activities. My People's Choice Award goes to Zachary Layton. I met this student as a freshman, and at the time I questioned whether or not he would make it to graduation. The going was rough, and it took a bit longer than expected, but here we are. We made it. His strength through life's challenges, his positive attitude and hard work, both in academics and athletics is amazing. I see nothing but success in his future. I feel blessed to have been a part of his journey. You did it, TJ Rossett, and I am so very proud of you. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Rabone from the guidance department. So we're living in this time where attention seeking behavior is rewarded. But the consequence is impatient and rude people are working double time to make others feel bad. So enter my people's choice. If I could create an antidote for the toxic feelings that affect so many who've been overlooked, bullied, or undervalued, I would shrink this guy down and put him in a bottle for mass consumption. He's an old school gentleman where integrity, kindness, courtesy, empathy are just innate to him. He's got this really calm demeanor, which is immediately diffusing, but he takes the time to have these chats, which is really refreshing in this world of social media and texting. It has been an absolute pleasure to watch him grow into this really good-hearted young man. Um, he makes people feel like they matter. So for reminding us all that it costs absolutely nothing to be a decent human being, I am proud to name Joe Beta as my People's Choice 2020. Bam. Hey there, everybody. It's Mr. Slaney here. Social studies teacher, peer leaders teacher, class advisor to the senior class, and also head baseball coach at LCMR. I'm here to present my People's Choice Award for this school year. We're all doing things a little differently. With that being said, I feel very bad for my senior class and to all the seniors out there missing all these great activities and events that we have planned at the end of the school year. My People's Choice Award for this school year is none other than senior Anthony Benigno. Anthony has been a huge help to the baseball program, to the senior class of 2020, and has always been there to give a helping hand in times of need. I was honored to name Anthony as a first year team captain for the baseball team this school year, which unfortunately we weren't able to play. So with that being said, I know we gotta keep these short. Anthony, congrats. I can't think of anybody more deserving, and I wish you all the luck next year at college. Be safe, everybody. Hi, uh, this is Debbie Sundstrom. I teach uh, baking and pastry nine through 12. And uh, my nominee, I've had all four years, but this year um, was an outstanding year for them. Um, you know, when people say, um, when you get lemons, um, make lemonade. Well, obviously uh, that means a lot of things to uh, many people, but this person will understand totally what that means. But, you know, some people are very sweet. Some people um, have lots of different uh, characteristics. But um, I saw through a lot of characteristics that this person had, and this person is very sweet. Um, she is dependable. She um, went way beyond the call of duty many, many times. And um, 
I'm so proud that um, I had this person uh, in many capacities in my class. But um, she will know um, all of those things um, because I hope she has great memories. But I just wanted to let her know that I think she was an outstanding help to me, an outstanding intern, and an outstanding student this year, and I'm very, very proud of her. And with further ado, my people's choice was and is uh, Valerie Mohan, and I am so, so pleased to see where she will go. Thank you so much, Valerie, for a great year, and I wish you all the luck. Love you. Sunny. Hello, I am Mrs. Turner from the Child Study Team. I am honored to have my People's Choice Award go to Zoe Lewis. I have known Zoe for six years now. Zoe has grown into a mature, independent woman who I am proud to see graduate into our Lower Township community in June 2020. Zoe has amazed me in this past year, especially with her ability to advocate for herself and verbalize effectively what she would like. And of course, she was always good at communicating what she did not like. She is strong-willed, and I hope that this characteristic will help her in her future endeavors. Zoe always was able to put a smile on my face, even if I was getting booed in the hallway. Zoe, I hope you value our friendship as much as I do as our bond over slime is sure to outlast any pandemic. You have made me proud, and I wish you the best of luck as you graduate Lower Cape May Regional High School. Hi, I'm Chris Vitale, English teacher in need of a haircut. As class of 2020 and Key Club advisor, I've been able to make a lot of great bonds with many students over the past four years. We spent a lot of time winning banner competitions, hallway decorating competitions, and pretty much every competition. But despite all these connections, one student has stood out from the very beginning. He may seem quiet at first, but that's just a cover for being one of the funniest, most engaging, and thoughtful students I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. In a world of talking, actions are what counts. And whenever something needed to be done, this student always stepped up to the plate. Whether it was going to workshops at a key club district convention, running a food drive, bowling mediocrely, or coming up with a way to complete the health class baby project on a dragon boat, this student has always been there and I will truly miss him next year. Plus, he's a sarcastic sax player and what's better than that? For these reasons and many more, my people's choice for 2020 is the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Arpa. Hi, my name is Janice White, school counselor at the high school. It is said we are like icebergs. Our behavior above the surface is what's visible to others but the things that drive our behavior are hidden below the surface. During our four years together, I am happy that my people's choice has allowed me a glimpse below the surface and to watch them grow with experience. Keep working on the positives and everything else will fall in place. There is a caring and sensitive man in the making and for that I am happy to select Paxton Scott as my people's choice. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wonder from the Social Studies Department. My People's Choice nominee I've known for the last two years. She is a hardworking, wonderful student who goes above and beyond, even made a prosthetic leg named Cupberg uh, for Virginia Hall project, a spy during World War II. She's involved in everything. Um, if you haven't met her personally, you know her because she's always walking down the hallway carrying a ton of books and bags. Uh, she always comes into class with a bright smile and leaves with a thank you. Um, I am so excited for her as she starts her next adventure as a pioneer woman, as she talked about heading off to Northland College to study environmental sustainability. I'm going to miss her so much. Remember when life gives you lemons, cut them up and put them in your water. My People's Choice nominee, Sophia Malgram. Congratulations. Hi, this is Mrs. Zukowski, and if things go as normal, I'm last. And so right now, Samantha Dowles and Juliana McLean, you must realize that you are my People's Choice nominees. Normally, I do one person, but I just can't choose between the two of you. Sam, you are the kindest and most giving person I have ever met, and you always try to do the right thing. I know that you're going into politics, and someday I'm going to be voting for you for president. Who am I kidding? I'm going to be dead, but my kids are going to vote for you for president. And Jules, you just make me smile all the time. I see you, and I laugh. For better or for worse, I kind of think of you as a little mini-me. And you always answer my questions. 
I love you both. Bye.